this is what fuels me is that love for nature on every single document or, 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 or CV, you know, I always write my hobby as being hiking. I just love being in nature. Hannah St. Luce Martinez is a Dominican by birth, but she relocated to Belize when she met her Belizean husband while at university. Belize is now the place where her work and purpose collide. I don't like being indoors. Um, and especially as it relates to Belize, this is one of the most beautiful countries in the world and there is just so much to see, so much to explore, so much to learn. Um, again, what I appreciate most about being within this field is interacting with persons at the community level, um, interacting with the different cultures, the different challenges, the different, you know, the different sites. We have multiple protected areas at the system level which are yet to be discovered by the regular Belizean. Um, I think this allowed me to really and truly become Belize. <laughs> Though I recognize that there are certain cultural needs, we must recognize that our resources are not bottomless wells. Um, and so it is that I, I, we, we need to raise that consciousness no? that, that, that we must value and that we must safeguard our resources. This isn't only the job of the technicians and the persons with, within the offices. Um, these resources are here for the well-being of each and every one of us. Um, and I would want to see us take more ownership of our resources. Martinez is the director of the National Biodiversity Office in Belize, formed in 2020 to champion the sustainable use and management of protected areas and biodiversity to ensure that all Belizeans benefit from these resources for years to come. That work often takes Martinez to the remote corners of Belize, away from her family and the comfort of her home, to deep in the jungles, across rivers and up close with wildlife. But she wouldn't want it any other way. She embraced the hardships. Her roots with the Forest Department date back to 2006. These experiences prepared her to lead this critical work for Belize. When I entered the department, there were two other female forest officers. Um, what I immediately um, recognized though is that these were women with, these were strong women. And I learned why immediately we were against some strong men, um, strong in character, strong in, in technical, um, preparation, strong in the field. Um, and so immediately we were forced to toughen up, you know, there is no time to, to for the girl talk and the, the, the handbag, you know, and the lipstick, it's getting out there in the field and getting dirty, rolling down say Chico in Chiki Bowl and, you know, so I never saw it as a challenge, as a, as a hindrance to me getting my job. I, I took it as a, as a, as a challenge. Um, a challenge to rise above um, those stereotypes no, of, of women not being fit for, for these sort of, sort of positions and jobs. It has had it, its up and its downs, but overall, I think it's something that I would not change for the world. It, it has made me who I am. And her work hasn't gone unnoticed. Minister Orlando Habed of the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Reduction says Martinez's visionary leadership is worth emulating. Having the biodiversity unit is uh, really important for us, especially looking at the protected areas management. And um, Ms. St. Louis Martinez has been exceptional in her work, along with her team, of course. But of course, we now give her recognition for, uh, as a person because of her professionalism and everything else, but also uh, recognizing that she works with other people, especially in her unit, she has mostly women. But while Martinez loves the outdoors, some of her most important work has been within the confines of her workspace and with her colleagues. She's an advocate for workplace legislation reform, where she promotes the need for balance and greater inclusion of women in her field. I stay here knowing that there is that need to challenge status quo, that need to challenge those norms and stereotypes that our little girls cannot be forest officers and our little girls cannot be park rangers. Um, I really and truly think now that from this position where I sit within the National Biodiversity Office, I now have an opportunity to influence 
other young women to, to join this field and not just join the field because we will be the ones wearing the fancy dresses, but join this field knowing that we can be the ones out there as well. I might be a biodiversity um, officer, no? but I find ways to bring my children into this field with me so that they appreciate the work that I do. Um, and so that is my, my, my biggest call no, to, to our policy makers is to recognize that while we do our jobs and we do it well, that there is this need to balance the home and the work, the, the work relationship. Um, a, a, a child that is healthy equates to a mom that is healthy equates to the job that is getting done. It humbles you um, and that is why I, I remain within this field and it, I, I don't see anything else for me. <laughs> Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.